All right, welcome into the stream, everybody. How's it going? How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. We're chilling. Welcome into the stream today. Let me do the pin message, and then we're going to get started. Chat. I'm preparing for a tournament today. Actually, let me do a different one to pin. There we go. All right. Bam. We're good. Oh, to begin. How's it going? We're chilling at the moment. Um. Gosh, yeah. Every time I think my webcam is like, and is fine. I'm like, actually, it should be smaller. Every time. In fact, I'm gonna like do that and slide it over. I'm just gonna try to take up as the least amount of space that I can. Oh God. Okay, chat. So I made a tweet about this. So some of you might have seen this, but this is kind of a, like I'm planning to go on a little bit of a min min break after this tournament. After this tournament. Uh, I'm going to Ruslemania Plus. I can put the bracket in chat if you guys want me to. But I'm a, I am think I'm going to head on a little bit of a min-min break after this tournament for the rest of the school semester, basically. And I'm going to try to go solo Game & Watch. So you might see me playing a bit of Game & Watch today. But I'm going to try to go like solo Game & Watch after um, just for a semester. For a few reasons. For like a few reasons. Um, I'm a little burnt out of Min Min. I really want a break with her. Right? And Game & Watch will be a nice change of pace. Uh, the other thing is that I kind of want to see how good I can get with him in a really short amount of time. Like, I, I, I'm curious. It's kind of like a curiosity where I'm like... Okay, can I get really good with Game & Watch in like a semester if I focus solely on him? Because I want to use him as a secondary or like a counter pick. I just don't have the confidence in him. So maybe if I play solo Game & Watch for like a hot minute, maybe that will build my confidence and my skills with that character. You know? I'm thinking that that will help in that regard. That was scary. Gosh, I feel... I don't know. I'm still going to go Mimmin for this tourney, I think. I was going to up smash. There is a little lag. I don't know if you guys feel it. I mean, you guys can definitely see it. It doesn't... I don't think that's me. Because my stream isn't having issues. If I were lagging, my stream would be having issues. And it's not at the moment. So that's definitely, definitely not me. I honestly don't think this matchup is terrible. I think optimistically this matchup is even. I beat a good Yoshi player at a local the other day, but then I lost to another one. M maybe because I tried to mess around with counter picks. I tried to counter pick with Samus and I won game one, but then I lost game two and it was a BO3. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go back to Min Min. And then I lost game three as Min Min. So I'm like, I don't know. If I'd gone solo Min Min, maybe I would have beaten him. I don't know. But. I don't know. I have a little bit of optimism around this matchup. And people are like, but Yoshi is just better puff. How can Min Min not lose? And here's the thing about that. I also don't think the puff matchup is that bad. So, like, kind of for the same reasons. I also just don't think the puff matchup is that bad. Like, it's losing, sure. 
But it's not like minus two. It's n it's definitely not Min Min's worst matchup. Like that is, it is 20, it's 2024. Can we stop pretending that Puff is Min Min's worst matchup? Or for that matter, that Sheik is low key. I don't know. I think, I think, um, I think Meta Knight, uh, Pikachu and Rob are kind of like my least favorites at the moment. Like those are the ones I would consider to be Min Min's like my worst, I guess. In my worst in regard to Min Min. Um, Greninja might be down there as well. But the thing about that is, is just, I, I just, I just haven't really played any good Greninjas. So it's hard for me to say. Like that matchup feels whatever, like whenever I play it, but that's mostly just cause I'm only playing it like online or like people's like pockets that I beat. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm not my best right now. That's how I feel too. I'm warming up a little. My parents took my switch. I'm sorry to hear that. Game and watch gaming. I think that'll help do whatever you think is best. Puff feels like a hit or miss. All depends on the player in the neutral game. That's right. I think it, it, it is definitely very player dependent. It's very volatile, you know? Um, like, I don't know. It's crazy. But yeah. There are a lot of characters that I want to play. There's too many characters that I want to play. I'm getting to that point where I'm like, man, isn't Samus so fun? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm getting, I'm getting to that point where it's like, I'm not, I, I'm not. It's not like I'm losing faith in myself or Min Min, but I'm just like, man, wouldn't it be cool if I was able to play this character or this character is so cool, like. It happens too off too many too many times. There's too many fucking characters in this game chat. They're all cool. Oh my god. Too many damn characters. Or like I'm like, hey, wouldn't all my problems be solved if I could play Aegis? <laughs> like Oh my god. Dude, like Yoshi low profiling arms is low key messed up. That's like low key really fucked up. Yeah, I figured you'd land with that. Yeah, the fact that Yoshi literally just low profiled Ram Ram, that is a little messed up. But I think it's the same logic as Puff, where it's like, I think Yoshi can actually struggle to get in sometimes. And no one really likes to talk about that part of the matchup. Because I actually do think Puff can struggle to get in on Min Min. I think it's not as simple as, oh, just jump over arms. I think sometimes it can be. And uh, but I, I even think like, like I think Donkey Kong can sometimes get in better than Puff can. I don't know. Cause like Puff has no range. Are these BO3s or BO5s? They're BO3s. Like at least DK back air is a big disjoint that you can challenge arms with. You know what I'm saying? Like DK players can effectively get in on Min Min using that back air, and it's actually semi-consistent, which is why I don't think that matchup is actually that bad. I think DK Min Min's low-key even. Don't tell anyone that though. But um But like Puff doesn't really have a big disjoint like that. 
So I actually think Puff can struggle more in getting in than even characters like DK can. Or DK do. DK does? What's the proper verbiage? <laughs> I love just charge Megawatt into nothing. No way. Damn. GG's. Hurtbox shifting in this game is whack in general. I agree. From my experience, Min Min does really good against Kirby, considering how Min Min players can just deny Kirby access to getting in. I think Kirby's not that bad, but I also think it's even. Like, low-key, I go Game & Watch in that matchup a lot of times, just because, like, I kind of don't want to deal with it. <laughs> it's a little volatile. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting warmed up. Yeah, me too, a little bit. Ooh, brushing your teeth before you drink coffee is whack. Vasanya, okay. Should I try Game & Watch this time? If it's Wario, I want to try Game & Watch. Because that is a matchup I kind of, like, I would I would consider counterpicking in. Ready. I would consider counterpicking in this matchup. So let's just try it. Let's just try it. Let's just choose. Let's just try it. See what happens. Trying to play more of this character because I'm trying to get better with this character because this character is really good and really broken. But for some reason, the only the only player in the world who doesn't seem to click with this character is me. So like, you know, I don't necessarily like. I feel like there's like a little secret, or like something I'm not doing. If you, if you were to ask the PR in my region who have played my game and watch, they would say that I'm not playing ignorant enough. But I honestly don't know how good of advice that is. Their advice is literally just like, spam more, mash more. And I'm like, isn't that bad advice? Like, I don't know how much I want to take that. That's why I that's why I made that tweet the other day that was like asking for advice at locals is low key not as good as I thought it was. Like not as good of a resource. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm sorry. Did he get out of the way from down smash using the startup hitbox of his F smash? What? I'm not playing that good. I'm not playing good. Hold on. But yeah, I'm just like, when it was, when the thing, when the mistakes I were making were like the big obvious things, then yeah, coaching like really helped out. But now that my mistakes are like way more nuanced, minor things that a lot of times is character specific, like it's not a question of like, oh, you're rolling too much at ledge anymore. It's a question of like when Rob has gyro in neutral, what the hell do I do to contest that? You know, it, the comp the questions are getting more complicated, right? And I think in that context, it's not as good to ask people at your like scene. Cuz cuz a I'm getting conflicting advice, which is not good. I'm getting conflicting advice from people about things like and I don't mean like 
oh, they're telling me to do different things that are compatible. No, I'm talking about like, I am getting two people who are telling me one thing and then the other guy comes up to me and said, don't listen to him, he's wrong. Here's what you need to do instead. And both of them are trying to get me to listen to them over the other guy. So now it's just like, I actually don't, like now it's not a question of like, Hey, can you help me out? Now it's a question of, I don't know who to trust in my scene to give me ad good advice. I don't, I don't know who to trust. Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh my God. I'm lucky I was able to air dodge. If I didn't air dodge, I think I die there actually. That was so dumb. <laughs> that was whack. What's up, Luj? What's up? How's it going? You retiring the Min Min? Um, oh, here's my plan. I'm gonna go Min Min at today's tournament, and then I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna try to not go Min Min for the rest of the school semester, mostly just because I want a break from her. I'm a little burnt out of Min Min at the moment, but also because I just I want to see if I try to go like solo game and watch. How good can I get in like a really short amount of time? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, bro? Like how good, how, how far can I really push that? Do you know who Charlie is? Of course, Charlie is a frequent regular in this chat. Of course I know who Charlie is. Okay. I also, I also just want to really beat this Rob. I, I want to get really good at the Rob matchup. Rob Game & Watch. I literally am so ass against Rob with any character, including Game & Watch and including Aegis. I'm so ass against Rob. And I really just want to like learn that matchup. I want to learn it because I know it's supposed to be unwinnable if you're playing as Game & Watch. I know it's supposed to be. It just isn't for me right now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong in it. This, this matchup is definitely better than Min Min Wario. If I ever had to counter pick a Wario, I would definitely feel comfortable doing it in this matchup. I honestly don't even care. Cause you're at 182, you die to anything. So like, yeah, feel free. I gotta be a little bit careful now in my in my approach. Cause now I also, oh, I'm dead. That was good, that was a good call out. Oh, now I gotta be really careful though. Just being patient on ledge is so useful. Like chat, people really shit on Game & Watch 
and I understand, right? But low-key, he's a really good low-maintenance top tier, let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. What a, what a great low-maintenance top tier, right? That's low-key what I want. At, at least as a secondary. GG's, GG's. Dude, that's crazy. How much like more dominant it was like and I like I actually do well into you with Min Min But it was just that more dominant. It's guess crazy Just so y'all know I'm very new to this game. Don't worry about that part Um, do you know who Charlie is? I fought him at an anager online. I'm working on cloud. There's a billion clouds in my region That's fair. Maybe you can get Meister's advice. I've done a um No, I haven't I guess but yeah, maybe next time I'm playing uh, with me uh, playing Roblox with a uh, Meister Maybe I'll ask for a free Metify <laughs> You made Min Min in secondary game of watch um, At this point. Yeah at this point. Yeah Which is like the most cringe lineup. I know but chat we live in a cringe game. All right We live in a cringe world. I have to adapt or die. I You want me to play Roy in this meta? Are you insane? You know, like, I don't know. What to do versus gyro is just shielding, jumping, or parrying it. You can also pick it up by getting a dash space and then just hit A. You know that person who took a game off of a cola? I do. I knew. I know the one you're talking about. <laughs> this song is so good. Game & Watch destroys Wario. At least Wario can hit combos. On Min Min with Game & Watch, you're just dead at 20. That's fair. I went from playing against Jerd's Wolf at MTAE Unlimited in 2019 back in Alaska to playing against Beast Mode Paul's Hero at Community Effort Orlando last year. Well, look at you go. Hello, Bob the Dandori Master. Why is the word THE the only word capitalized in your name? Your YouTube username is Bob the Dandori Master, and out of all of those four words, the only one with a capital at the beginning of it is the word the. What sense does that make? This is... Chat, what is going on? Okay, I was like... You just took 129, and we're 30 seconds into the game. That was a messed up edge guard or ledge trap sequence. That was that was messed up, chat. I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty messed up. IDK TBH. I I kind of like it. I I kind of like it. I think it's unique. Dude. What was that combo? I'm just gonna go really low. Ooh! Dude, what a fool. Said they were new. That's Cap. Straight Cap. I know Cap when I see it. You mean to tell me the new player is RAR back airing out of Dare? Yeah, right. <laughs> but now you're gonna die, unfortunately. Oh shit. The the adaptation. Just turn into a shield bot when Rob is holding holding gyro. I just chat. I everyone always is like, guys, Rob Game and Watch is unwinnable for Rob. I've never won it in my entire life. Off offline. I hope you guys know. Literally, there was this like there was this, like, um, I don't want to say o 2 -er, that's mean. But, like, this, like, newish player who did play Rob. And I was like, okay, I'll practice Rob Game & Watch. I lost game one. And I had to go Min Min to win the rest of the set. I was like, dog. How am I... How am I this bad at Rob Game & Watch? There's no way, dude. Is Kazuya a good matchup against Game Watch? No, Game Watch destroys Kazuya Loki. That was a good parry. You mean to tell me the new player is parrying? Yeah, fucking right. <laughs> Die.
Oh my god. <laughs> just okay, just don't get down aired and I'm fine. Just don't get down aired and I'm I'm gonna be fine. Because when you dare you can get punished hard if you had our send. Can Kazuya even beat Min Min? I think that I think that matchup's even. I think I'm sorry. I think that matchup's even, chat. I think I think Kazuya Min Min's even, bro. Dude, do you know Kazuya's have specifically developed anti Min Min tech in order to get in on Min Min? Like, do you, did you know that? They've literally labbed that matchup out so hard, it's even. Like, day one, that matchup was like minus two for Kazuya, but they've done so much labbing, bro. I don't play Game Watch. I would say maybe don't down air so much. <laughs> oh no, chat. Everyone's a critic nowadays, huh? <laughs> you're kidding. It's a fair. It, you're, yeah, it's fair. I'm gonna try new characters. Please go easy on me. Okay. It's so funny, because that wasn't even, like, optimal. That wasn't even, like, optimal, up, like, neutral B length. The spacing, my spacing was off. And it still, like, basically worked. That, yeah, that is something I'm definitely noticing with this player. A lot of rolls. No, the spacing! My F tilt! Yeah, you're not new. Sorry. Like, <laughs> chat. Come on. Don't play with me now. You can parry in this game? Yeah. Chat, the you can parry in this game message is really funny because there are one of two possibilities. One, that's a person who doesn't play this game. And is used to like parry being a Yoshi only mechanic in melee, right? But two, which is the funnier option, is that they do actively play this game. And they just had no idea that parrying was a mechanic in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I think that is the funnier option to believe. So I will be believing it. No, I meant to F tilt the other way. Oh my god. How did neither of us die? Hold. Dude, this is so terrifying. Get away from me. My God. Dude, the Gleok boss music, yeah, that's, that's, that's actually so fitting. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm not dead. Bum, bum. <sighs> bum. I meant to land on the plat and do it. The nerves. But you're dead! Let's go, chat. GG's, GG's, GG's. Bum, bum, bum.
I've played three days in total. Sounds good. How? Basically, when you're shielding, if you let go of the shield button, like right before an attack hits your shield, you'll parry it. And it gives you a few frames of, um, like, a few extra frames of advantage for you to act. The nerves definitely took over, but that was so good. Hey, GG's. How do you leave again? Something came up. It's exclamation mark leave. Yeah, parrying requires good timing, but the reward is pretty good. Like, a lot of characters can do, like, parry and, like, a smash attack to punish. Depending on what move hit your shield, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, chat, I've got about 20 minutes left for today's stream. It's gonna be a short one, because, again, I have to leave to go um, to that tournament, but you know. Oh, now I understand. Oh no, it was Torian, not Nathan, who asked me who I'm in. Because when you already read that, um, I actually have some pre some friends who told me Kirby versus Kazuya is plus one in Kirby. That's definitely an even matchup. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby Kazuya is definitely even. Because both characters just kind of take turns messing each other up and like nullifying each other. Okay, wait. Major thinks that this is uh, Ganon's worst matchup. This or Min Min? Which, hey, would you look at that? That's both the characters I play. But chat, I used to... Did you guys know I used to be a Ganondorf main? Back when Ultimate was... Um, back when Ultimate came out? I used to main Ganon. I was a solo Ganondorf main until COVID lockdowns. That was good. Are these sets best of three or five? It's three. I I think Min Min is probably worse for Ganon than Game & Watch. Mostly just because like Game & Watch can, Game & Watch is light. So he can actually get taken advantage of in that sense by like a, a, a Ganondorf who has advantage state can really just like snowball but in, in a way that you can't really do against Min Min. That's terrifying, by the way. Wait, that's fine. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Let him die. Let him die. I love doing that tech roll on, on like, the, um, the side B on plats. Because if they roll in and stuff... Then it's like, like you saw, I got the, like, I missed the side attempt, but I still got a Nair out of it. Yeah, I just like, when Ganondorf has the lead and I have to approach, this matchup is more volatile. I'm not even going to say it's like not bad, but it's more, it's more volatile. Because when I have to approach, that's when things get fucky-wucky for me. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose this game one, but we'll see what happens. Mmm, I had the right idea. Okay, I'm going to swap over to Min Min. Why not do full hop Nair to full hop side B? You're right. <laughs> do you know the percentage of your audience per country and hello? Hello! I'm assuming you're f watching from somewhere that's not the US. I know I, most of my audience comes from the US and Canada. Uh, but I know that I actually do have somewhat of a audience in like South America because I cover their scene very often and If there's one thing that I'm I really like about South America. It's the fact that if you like If you like show them some love they will show you love back. You know what I'm saying? I'm a French audience. Okay, that makes sense, too I, t I tend to cover some European tournaments as well. I, I like to cover I like to cover tournaments from all over the place just because, like, I, I I think it's cool to do that. So the Falco is interesting. I actually have a lot of experience in this matchup. I think it's kind of even, actually. Like, I don't know. I've tried to counterpick before with Game & Watch because it's, you know, that matchup's supposed to be unwinnable. But I it, I've, it's never worked for me. 
I tend to beat more Falco mains by just going Min Min. But that being said, it is still volatile. Despite the fact that it, I think it, it is low key even. Motsunabe said that this matchup was losing for Falco. His matchup chart was very controversial. Let me tell you, it was not just that. His matchup chart was controversial chat. Did y'all see the Motsunabe matchup chart? Where it had like Sephiroth and winning. And um, like, I think Game & Watch was like even or something. Like Dr. Mario was in like minus like one or something. People were like, duck? And Motsunabe was like, till they responded and he went, we lose to Doc? And Motsunabe responded with, of course. Which was just so based. I was just like, that's so funny. But I honestly don't think either, either Tilde nor Motsunabe's chart are right or wrong. I just think they're different because Japan and North America slash Europe value different things in the meta. So I think it actually makes a lot of sense that they're different. And I don't think anyone is right or wrong. It's just different. That's my, that's my, that's my anthropology class I took last semester talking right there. I find it interesting. I said that Min Min was worse for Ganon than uh, Game & Watch was. And I find it interesting that Nathan kind of like, even if, even if Nathan didn't verbally agree, Nathan still kind of agrees. Cause still went Ganondorf against Game & Watch, but did not go Ganondorf against uh, Min Min. Which I think is really interesting. Maybe just because it's like Ganon, uh, Min Min, not Min Min, Falco Game & Watch is also supposed to be really bad. So, you know, like figures there's no point. But. Oh fuck. Okay, wait, hold on. I might die here. Oh my gosh. That should be dead. Okay. <sighs> Launching into game three. I was late and I wanted to get into the queue, so I had no choice. What's poppin' chat? What's up? I killed Pac-Man. I like this matchup because the he. I like the chart because he clearly made it off his own experience. That's fair. You started your stream early? Yeah, because I'm headed somewhere today. I, it has to be. Uh, I've got to do a bit of a shorter stream. We don't have that much time left, actually. I do think Game Watch is not that bad for Ganon. That's funny. That's interesting. But yeah, Major major thinks that Ganon's worst or is either um, Min Min or Game & Watch. I think it's probably Min Min. That's what I said in my, uh, my video. Mm -hmm. This is another matchup. That I think is supposed to be really good. At the very least, I know Tim Prater hates this matchup with like a passion. I'm not the most experienced in it, but like it's Mewtwo. So in a way I don't have to be. You know? That, that's definitely... Did you see Despade Light Drama? It's not drama. Uh, it's it's like every every piece of beef is so fake nowadays. Every... every like, I don't know. It, everything is so manufactured. It's, it's a disagreement. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't like calling it beef. 
when it's literally just two tweets, you know? Or even like drama in that sense. I will say though, people were cooking Deathspade and it sucks to see my goat getting cooked on the timeline like that. It, I, I, I kind of just stayed off the internet yesterday because I was like, I'm not trying to see Deathspade get cooked all day. That's my go right there. I have no opinion in the matter because I did not compete when Smash 4. I like I played Smash 4, but I didn't compete seriously. I just played for glory all the time with Ganondorf and I would I would take one stock and then I would fish for Ganon side the entire time. <laughs> That that was that was my Smash 4. That was me in Smash 4. And I also played Corrin when I wanted to actually like try. Um Which is weird because like I, I I when I first started playing this game, I stuck with the same mains. I played Ganondorf and Corrin. Um but I eventually just kind of stopped playing Corrin and I went solo Ganondorf because I had I was having more fun with him. But then as Corrin started becoming good again, I just never picked her back up. I just never picked her back up. I don't know why. Are you going to be streaming tomorrow? Yes. I think Mewtwo could be mid to high C tier. I don't think Minmin is as bad as people say. Me too. Despade's low key at Twitter Goblin. Despade farms interactions. <laughs> but um, Spell Wizard, you're up next. This might be our last set today, I think. But yeah, dude, Despade's my goat. I, I know Despade IRL. Despade's in my scene, so. It's very hard for me not to be biased, but I don't really have an opinion on like the Bayonetta hate in Smash 4. Was was it motivated by homophobia or not? I don't really have an opinion on that because I wasn't in the community in during that time. I only joined the community when Ultimate happened, so I really couldn't tell you. I don't know. As like I, I, I so I, I have no stake. I have no stake in that drama. A part of a big part of Anvil being the best player in Norway is the lack of a good Min Min there. I know where I'm moving to. <laughs> I'm kidding. Is he really the best in Norway? I thought Whoopi was considered better. Cause I think Whoop wasn't Whoopi ranked higher on the Norway PR. I thought Anvil was like number four on the Norway PR or something. I think Anvil is just like the most known player from Norway. There you go, you should be dead. I've changed my opinion on Kazuya. I learned the infinite he could do. So you, so you do agree that Kazuya is, um... Really bad for Bowser? I, here's the thing, I, I think, I think Kazuya can't really play his typical style. I think Kazuya has to swap, switch things up for this matchup. You kinda like, with Kazuya in this matchup, you have to approach. And I know a lot of Kazuyas are not used to being the one who has to approach. So a lot of Kazuyas are like, this matchup is like minus 3000. But it's like, I, I don't know. I think it's really hard to say. I think it's even, but I'm also a very much an even Steven Gremlin where I think every matchup is even. I'm like Min Min only has even matchups. So, Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, chat. Maybe I'm wrong. But I know the the Kazia mains, like Wilds. Wilds does not think this matchup is losing. Wilds thinks it's even. I'm pretty sure. It's either Whoopi or Anvil. Anvil used to be number four back in the day though. Or number one. Okay, okay. I love fighting Kazia. None of them know how to fight Puff. That's fair enough. I'm a bit biased since Light is from my scene. It kept calling out light when nothing to do with the situation. It was just an example. It wasn't really a call out. Bro, controls is on. I don't know what's happening. Controls is on. What do you mean by that? 
Do you, are you on the wrong controls? You can swap them if you want. I don't know. I'm, I am I really don't have any stake in it, but people are being too mean to Death Spade. All right. That's my girl. That's 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 my that's my resident girl boss right there. All right. You can't be you can't be you can't be mean. You're not allowed to be mean to Death Spade. That's my girl boss. I will say, it's very ironic. Dude, did you see any of the replies? Did you see any of the replies that were like... Because Deathspade's whole point was a lot of the Bayo hate in Smash 4 was based off of homophobia. That that was the Des that was the point Deathspade was trying to make, right? And what I thought was so funny were all of the... like. It, this wasn't a lot of people, but there were some, right? Who were in the replies of that, of like any of the tweets involved. And they were like, Despade's wrong. It wasn't based off of homophobia. And then they were incredibly homophobic to Despade. Like, dude, literally. <laughs> You're wrong, slur. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's just like, wow, that's okay. <laughs> like, that is literally the point Despade was trying to make. Damn. Damn! <laughs> no! <laughs> That's so tragic. Do you know how stupid the range of Gates of Hell is? It is really good. It's a good move. It is. Uh, that that was a rough one. GG's, GG's. Sag, I that is Sag. Uh, chat, it's 8.55, it's been an hour, or a little bit less than an hour, but I have to go, uh, I have to make it to the tournament today, I know, we, it's a short stream today, I apologize, it, we started it really early, it's a short stream, I have to make it to the tournament, cause I have a crew battle that I have to participate in at, uh, 10am, and it's currently 9am, so I gotta be there in an hour, so I'll see you guys later, farewell you guys, have a good one, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, we'll be, we'll be doing the same thing, although more around noon or 2 p.m. rather than 8 a.m. So I'll see you guys then. Have a good night, you guys.